Brian Huffman is up a game against Harlan Fear uh, in his semifinal match. Once we have word that we're ready to go down to the feature match area to watch them right here on, on the screen. So Harlan is, uh, again, down a game here against Brian, who is on Jund. And, ooh, Brian has quite a board. It's not looking too good for Harlan. Yeah, this is rough. I mean, Brian, you can see all of the ways he has to grind someone out. He has Dark Confidant to draw cards on his side of the board. He has Liliana, which is able to attack his opponent's hand and potentially their board. And then also Huntmaster of the Fells is just a really good card because it's hard to remove. You're going to need to use two removal spells on it. Not only that, but it buffers Brian's life, and if it sits on the board, it can even gain some value and start shooting stuff down. And we can see a whole lot of cards in the graveyards from this Liliana the Veil. So on Brian's side, we do have a Liliana, a Dark Confidant, and a Wolf Token, along with Black Cleave Cliffs, two forests, and a Swamp. And on Harlan's side, we do have a Sulphur Falls, a, a, a Mountain, an Island, and a Desolate Lighthouse. And with the plus one activation uh, from Brian's Liliana, it was able to get rid of the Kronos God of Storms that was in Harlan's hand. Yeah, really highlighting one of the reasons why Liliana is so good, because a lot of the times the way the Jun deck is set up is it has good removal spells for anything that someone would play early. And then the deck is sort of set up so that the removal spells hit the things that come out early, and Liliana's plus hits the things that would come out later that are too big for the Jun deck to handle. So it looks like on Brian's turn he's going to go ahead and reveal a Verdant Catacombs to that Dark Confidant. He's going to plus Liliana. Harlan doesn't have any cards in hand, but Brian's going to go ahead and get rid of that land, and that's going to allow him to sit on that Maelstrom Pulse as a removal spell in his hand. He's going to pass the turn back to Harlan, who's going to draw, and it looks like it might be a Jace, and it is. We've got a Jace, Architect of Thought. Now, this is going to be able to cut Harlan's uh, clock in half, but Brian does have that Maelstrom Pulse, which is only going to get a reprieve for this turn on that minus two, minus two on the attacks. Yeah, for sure. While Jace is a great card on a, on a smaller board or, or a board that doesn't have as much pressure, Harlan isn't, doesn't really have the opportunity to get any kind of value off of it, and it's likely going to die to just a one-for-one -one removal spell while Brian is still pushing more damage. Now, Brian is uh, in the lead here and looks like in a good, good spot to take this game. And if that's the case, he could end up in the finals against Bob Huang. And we saw what happened last time they played. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I think things are looking really good for Bob, despite that last win being, you know, not the most exciting win and not one that he felt super good about. He's definitely feeling good about his chances if this John Deck takes this game. So it looks like Brian Huffman was going to be able to reveal a land off of that, his Dark Confidant, and then draw into another Dark Confidant. After Maelstrom pulls in the Jace, he's just going to play another Dark Confidant, attack Harlan down to five, and pass the turn with lethal attackers on the battlefield. It looks like, very quickly, Jund is going to take this match against Harlan's blue-red twin deck. Yeah, I mean, kind of highlighting how the Jund deck is just so good at grinding, and Harlan it really went out of his way to kind of sure up this weakness in the matchup. And I think a lot of the times Harlan would win this matchup because he is so well.